So what's going on ladies and gents, my name is Arbuckle, welcome back to another video. Today we are once again back on Modern Warfare and I wanted to share with you guys the best class setup for the new MP7 Prototype Omega Blueprint. Uh, this is a blueprint available in the Modern Warfare store right now that has purple tracers. So if you're looking for a cool weapon that shoots purple bullets, this will definitely be a weapon for you. Um, what you're watching right now is me demonstrate what the class setup that I'm going to share with you in this video plays like so you can get an idea before you go run around with this thing. It's really really good and I hope you guys like it So uh, if you guys take a look at the stats that come with the original blueprint for the prototype Omega You guys will see that we get a really nice boost to accuracy as well as a small boost to range mobility and control The underbarrel is something that I really wanted to change here since this is an mp7 and meant to be fairly aggressive So that we can make it a little bit better uh, for those run and gun uh, Situations where you're gonna run into people around corners through doorways and be able to hit fire a little bit better So if you guys take a look at the stats for the class setup that I'm gonna share with you in this video you guys will still see so you guys will see that we still get that massive boost to accuracy and we essentially still get a nice boost to range mobility and control we are just changing this just a little bit uh, to make it better from those close range gunfight situations so if you guys take a look at the attachments that we're going to be using the muzzle that we're going to be using is the compensator and is a is a muzzle that i've been using on most of my smgs at this point uh, with this you're getting recoil control which is going to improve your accuracy and control uh, especially when it comes to medium to long range uh, what you're going to lose here is ADS speed as well as aiming stability but keep in mind uh, aiming stability pro or con with this SMG is going to be completely useless because there isn't any idle sway with the SMG so essentially we're just gaining recoil control and losing a little bit of aim down sight speed which we're going to make up for here in a second so again the compensator muzzle we're not going to be using a barrel the laser that we're running is the 5MW laser. So with this, you're getting hip fire accuracy as well as sprint to fire speed, which are going to be two very important pros when it comes to uh, using this MP7, giving us a nice boost to accuracy and mobility. So again, the 5MW laser. The optic that we're going to be using is the GI Mini Reflex. Now, this is more personal preference. I know a lot of players don't like running an optic on the MP7. However, recently, I've noticed that most players that use this have been running one. Uh, so the GI Mini Reflex is what I'm going to recommend for this specific class setup. I didn't want to change it too much because I know people get irritated when I change the blueprints too much. So we're going to leave the GI Mini Reflex optic on there. We're not going to be running a stock. The underbarrel that we're using is the Merc foregrip. So I strongly believe that with these SMGs, especially if you're a rushing player, someone that likes to play super aggressive, the Merc foregrip is better than the Commando foregrip. So with this, you're getting recoil control as well as hip fire accuracy, losing a little, mo little bit more ADS speed as well as aim walking movement speed. You guys will see that we get a really nice boost to accuracy here as well as a small boost to control. And you will notice a huge difference with this attachment. Uh, in those close quarters gunfight situations, you will have perfect hip fire accuracy as especially with that other uh, 5MW laser that we're going to have on. Uh, these two uh, attachments go together very, very well. So the Merc foregrip, a really good underbarrel to use for really any SMG that you're playing aggressive with. We're not running any extra ammunition. And last but not least, the rear grip that we're using is stippled grip tape. So with this, we're getting sprint to, spire, sprint to fire speed as well as more ADS speed to help make up for a few of those other attachments. So overall, a still pretty aggressive class setup here that you guys will be able to do well from not only close range, but medium to long range uh, as well. So hopefully you guys like this class setup. If you guys have any questions about any of the attachments or anything in this video regarding uh, the prototype Omega, please make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll be sure and try to help some of you guys out. Out. but I really hope you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see all you guys in the next video